You know that it's fun to go out Except I never leave my house I'm either at work or home And it seems kind of pathetic just drinking alone So if you got nothing going on Have some drinks with Ron Hello and welcome to this uh, edition of Drinks with Ron I'm Ron, of course, and this is my unusually large drink I'm uh, feeling pretty good tonight, week 11 of the football season. Of course, my Steelers lost, but uh, my fantasy football team uh, just pulled off a last-second victory with Chris Johnson leading the way. So I'm feeling pretty good and uh, <clears throat> feeling like I should be celebrating. So, uh, yeah, I, I just got Facebook, and, you know, Drinks with Ron was a thing I used to do on MySpace. And I was a little more personal about my MySpace. Like, it was... I rejected a lot of friendship requests. Because, I, I don't know. Because MySpace, I, I guess... MySpace. That's exactly, like, the way I took it. So it was only certain people... Um, but now that I'm in Facebook, I kind of accept everybody. So now that I've kind of changed that policy, um, I'm... Uh, kind of have to change the whole format of drinks with Ron because it's a completely off the top of my head off the cuff thing but uh, my friends group now is so much more wide of a group of people I was doing it for my tight tight friends that know me you know when I get a few drinks in me and start spouting off and they just kind of take it for what it is but uh, being on Facebook I kind of want to change it and make sure I'm mindful to tone it down a little bit because I don't know who will be watching but uh, with that in mind, uh, about a week and a half ago, Maddie got the H1N1 shot. Well, half of it she got. She's supposed to come back in a month and get the other half. But uh, they put the Band-Aid on the arm afterwards, and it was like a little rectangle. But it wasn't like Band-Aid. It was this rectangle mutant super Band-Aid that I think they put frickin' hot glue on there because this thing was on. So, you know, it sat for about a week and kind of started to get the corner peeled off and last week told her, you know, we're going to pull the band-aid off. What we'll do is we'll grab the corner and we'll pull it really fast and it will only hurt for a second. So, uh, you know, okay, she says, and get the corner started and got a good grip on it and just yank. And Maddie's response was, pulled the band-aid off she went what the fuck and I had to laugh because honestly that's exactly what I would have thought <laughs> like you told me that was only gonna hurt a little bit what the fuck was that you pulled the first two layers of skin off so uh it's hard to be mad and she's sitting there, I'm laughing, and she's sitting in the chair, and she's got this look on her face, because A, her arm still hurts, so she's mad, but then we're all laughing, so she's still kind of smiling, so she's got this angry grin on her face, like, don't you laugh at my arm pain, so, uh, that was pretty good, um, and then after that, that reminded me of a time, it's about two years ago, so she's two, and or no, it would have been just a year ago because we'd just gotten the cats. She's three years old, and Mr. Pants, my cat, my my bastard cat, Mr. Pants, um, he's the uh, more vicious and outgoing of the two. And uh, I'm sitting in here on the computer one day, and you know, jibber jabber in a way, and Maddie's on the stairs out in the other room. I got the door open. I can hear Maddie talking out there. Blah blah blah. And I hear her go, ah, fucker. Well, actually, she couldn't say her R's very well, so it was, fucker. <laughs> Madison, what? What did you just say? Um, and that's what a kid lying sounds like. A kid lying sounds like, um, so she says, ah, uh, Mr. Pants bit me, and then I told him not to. <laughs> said, no, what did you say before that? She says, um, I'm coming downstairs now. So, uh, it was hard to be mad. It was really hard to be mad. I pretended like I didn't hear that one. 
so uh, indeed eventful. She's getting ready for the uh, big Thanksgiving, taking the High School Musical Sing It for uh, we with the microphone, which, uh, you know, I hope I don't have a, too many whiskeys and I get uh, roped into being Troy, because I can do tremendous damage on my psyche having to sing this uh, falsetto High School Musical. My voice is too low to get in tune with Disney's songs. I have to do this, like, fake high thing, and, uh, apparently everyone thinks it's pretty goddamn funny when I do it, so, uh, hopefully I don't get roped into playing any high school musical, um, and uh, I should probably shut her down, because, uh, I need to get my other video posted in the league, uh, lip off about my fantastic fantasy football victory this week, but, uh, once again, I am Ron, and this is my unusually large drink. Uh, thanks for joining me on Drinks with Ron.